Hey beautiful people, I'm Lucy and you're watching the Edit With Me Monday show. The show where we make editing in Lightroom super, super simple. So last week I asked you guys, what do you wanna learn about? And Brie responded with, split toning. So today I'm talking all about split toning, how you can use it in your photos to really bring your colors to life, and also to give all your photos a consistent look and feel. So let's jump in. All right, so split toning is actually really, really simple. Basically what it means is we're gonna inject color into the highlights and color into the shadows of your photo. So up in Lightroom, I have a black and white gradient photo just to kind of show you how this feature actually works. So in the highlights here, if I just, let's say I'm gonna make this uh, a blue tone. So you can pick your blue along here, or you can click this button and actually go in this way and, and pick it as well. So once we pick it, we can decide how saturated we want it to be. So that's how intense that blue will be. So you can either have it just a little hint or a lot. I'm gonna put a lot right now so you can really see how it affects the photo. And then the shadows, let's do an orange. And again, bring that saturation up. All right, so the highlights I've made blue and the shadows I've made orange. So as you can see on this photo, here are the highlights of the image. Now the thing that's interesting is that we still have the pure white. So split toning is not gonna affect the pure white parts of your photo or the pure black parts. Those will always stay that pure color. So it's more so that highlight range now is the blue and that shadow range is the orange. And you can see where the color is actually mixed together there. And then the only other thing you really need to know here is the balance section. Now let's say that uh, Lightroom is considering some elements that you would want to be shadows as highlights. You can change that here. So I can just tell Lightroom, no, I want more of this to be considered shadows. As you can see when I do that, more of the image is becoming orange or more of those shadows are moving into that highlights and it's orange or I could say no, let's make some of those shadows actually be highlights. There we go. So that's the basics of how those actually affect your photo. With split toning, you don't have too control over to say only do these shadows or only do these highlights, sort of like a blanket feature, which is why a lot of the time you really aren't gonna want it to be this saturated. You're really probably just gonna have a little hint of those colors coming through just to add a bit of style to your photo. So now that we kind of know what's happening when we use split toning, let's try it on a real photo. So I have this photo here, just an easy landscape shot to show you how this kind of works. And I did a few basic edits, so always do that before you jump into any of the panels here. As this is a sunset photo, we see blues and oranges and yellows, so that's what I want to enhance about this picture. So we're gonna sort of put blues into those highlights. Bring up that saturation a bit. And then in those shadows, I'm gonna do that orange vibe. Sort of an orangey yellow, actually. And then we'll bring up the saturation. Really, sa really saturated on that. So. I could just have a little hint of it. I really want it to look like it's a beautiful golden hour sunset. So I'm really bringing up the saturation in those shadows. So if we do a before and after, before, after. So you can see those highlights have some of that really nice blue. I could go way further. This to me looks a bit overdone and right around here looks just really, really nice. So that was really quick and easy. We added a bunch of life to this photo and it looks great. Now, one thing I wanna tell you is that, say you do your split toning, you get a style you really like, simply just do Control C. It's gonna bring up this copy settings. Make sure you only click the split toning option or maybe you wanna take those basic edits you did too. Click that, copy, and then go to your next photo and Control V and those settings are there again. So now we took these photos taken at two totally different times and now they have this similar vibe to them. So I'll do it with another one. 
So these photos were taken with different settings, different lighting, different locations, but once we put that split toning on all of them, they start to have this really nice cohesive look to them, like they're a series. So say this was an Instagram feed, this would look really nice and, and everything would have that nice vibe that everyone does on Instagram nowadays. So that's how you can do that. Now I will quickly mention that the settings aren't gonna work on every single photo the same every single time. A lot of the time with landscape shots, it's gonna work pretty well, but once you go into something like a portrait like this and you try to paste those settings, it doesn't work so well and that is because of the skin tone. But you could still work with something like this and just bring that saturation down of the, of the orange and you can still make it work. All right, so that's how you do split toning in Lightroom. If you like these tutorials, if you wanna get awesome at Lightroom, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, like, all that fun stuff. And also feel free to leave a comment down below with what you wanna learn about Lightroom and who knows, I might make a video about it. All right guys, until next time, peace out.